I'm here in a Google form where what I want to do is to add a date to my form. I like to have the students choose it from a list rather than just relying on the timestamp for two reasons. One is it gives me just the date without the time. So I want to filter it. I can filter it all by that single date without having the extra uh, timestamp in there. Uh, the other thing is sometimes students have a reason to sign in on a day that's not that day they filled it out. So this solves that problem. So I just like to do choose from a list. So I'm going to say what is the date of class, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Now I have a template, so if you go over to the template, the first thing you're going to want to do is file make a copy. Okay, so I have a copy of my template. And what you'll notice is down at the bottom is different tabs. And so you have to determine if your scheduling for your school is on block schedule, if, if it didn't start on a Monday I made a second option, or if it meets daily. So if your class meets daily, go ahead and click on the daily tab, and you'll decide what was the first day of school. So if the first day of school is 9-22, then and that was a Monday, then you just choose Monday. And then you would want to go through and mark any holidays. So here in column D, any day on the calendar that your class would not meet, just mark it with an H. So you'll notice over here on the daily dates, I marked 924 with an H. It does not show up. Notice what happens if I put it for 925. Now 925 is missing. So in column D, any of them that you mark with an H is no longer going to show up on the daily list. And so what I now have is I have a list of dates that should correspond with my classes. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those. And you just take the range that it is. Um, I'm going to say if I need to go all the way down to May. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to May, copy, control C on a PC, command C on a Mac. I go back to the form. And I just need to highlight option one. And when I paste control V on a PC, it's going to paste all of those dates in there. So notice how quickly I was able to add 165 dates to my Google form. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. What if you are on block schedule? So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to add a choose from the list for that. I go back to my copy of the template. And I can do block schedule where, again, I'm just going to be able to pick the first day of class and then determine if the first day of class was an even or an odd scheduled day. And it automatically will adjust even odd, even odd, where it's going to skip weekends and holidays. So here, notice on 925, if I mark that with H for holiday, then it goes odd, even, odd, skip the holiday, so then the next class day is even. And then over here on the right-hand side, it's going to separate out the dates. So all of the even dates are listed on the left column here in column G. And in column K, you're going to find the odd dates listed. So I would just highlight my date range, copy, control C on a PC, command C on a Mac. We go back to my Google form, highlight option one, paste, and it's going to paste all of my dates in there. Going back to my block schedule, if your school does not start on a Monday, if it starts on a different day, you can go down to this tab block, choose day of the week, and you can choose instead of Monday, you could say Tuesday, which in this case would be of course 916, so I would change the date. Notice the yellow cells are the ones that you're going to be able to change. And then if it says even or odd, change it to odd, it's going to go ahead and do those. Again, put in your holidays if you have any. And you can just highlight your date range, come back to your Google form, choose from a list. This also works for multiple choice and multiple select, and just paste my dates.